find out why part of the Natural History Museum has gone dark and been taken over by bats. Congratulations to them. Now, um, these might look like stars, but this is actually the sort of light you get right down in the depths of the ocean. It's just one part of a new exhibition at the Natural History Museum shedding light on creatures who live in the dark and survive without sunlight. Wendy Hurrell has more. Night at the Natural History Museum, where thrive owls, night jars and moths, urban animals too, and an invitation to a sensory experience. All very familiar and lamp lit at first. Then it gets even darker as you're immersed into the world of caves, this one filled with flitting bats. And this is how the world looks to the snakes that hunt those bats. Imagine looking up and seeing these guys hanging from the ceiling. When you add water, things get even more weird. There, we've got the blind cave fish. Live exhibit. They don't have eyes at all. They don't need them. There's no light. So they manage to swim around without bumping into the rocks, without bumping into each other. And they manage to find their food all by alternative senses. So you'd think there would be eyeless fish in the ocean depths. Not so. Because it's not dark under the ocean. And this display indicates um, the kind of bioluminescence that you can find in the deep ocean. This is a world still quite unknown. The creatures all the time more alien. There is still much to be learned by our London biologists. Jeff found these so recently he hasn't named them yet. Usually you name it after a feature of the animal, um, but you can name it in honour of someone or you can name it after well, characters from literature or something. There are lots of species named after Shakespearean characters and Greek gods and so on. So it's a pretty open field. We'll just call it Bob for now. <laughs> That's good Bob name. the Shrimp. Bob the Shrimp, yes. <laughs> Life in the dark reveals the ingenious ways strange animals must find food, a mate, and try not to get eaten in their less than luminous environments. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London News.